Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and a tour of The Sims Freeplay Snow Chalet. Many thanks as always to EA and Fire Monkeys for giving us a special early preview to share with you guys. The Snow Chalet is a pre-built house template which gets unlocked as a prize for completing the Snow Problem quest within the 13 day time limit. The Snow Problem quest is a limited time event running during December 2017 as part of the 2017 year end update for the game. We've got a walkthrough of the whole quest in another video on our channel, so please check the video description below for a link to see that, and also other videos of limited time events from the 2017 year end update. If you finish the Snow Problem quest in the time limit, the Snow Chalet will be available to build on any empty, premium, or standard size lot. The first one you build will be free, and after that it will cost simoleons. The cost depends on how many buildings you already have in your town. It'll cost more if you have more buildings, and less if you have fewer buildings. This is the Snow Chalet on a premium size lot, which is 18 by 36 squares. We'll show the standard size lot, which is 18 by 18 squares, later in this video. As you can see, it's already snowing on the lot, which is really cool. You can make it stop snowing by buying a weather machine, which is unlocked through the Alien Concept quest, and choosing Blue Skies. But there will still be snow on the ground, which I guess is fitting because it's a snow chalet after all. So the way to approach the snow chalet is from this dirt road over here, and you get sort of a long curving driveway over to a covered carport, maybe, I guess you'd call this. You could park your car here and then hop out and walk towards the house. This is the front door here. We'll check out the inside of the house in just a little bit, but I just wanted to point out over here, you get this lovely balcony looking over this snowy landscape. You can see that there's a building foundation under the balcony. There is no basement in the house to begin with, but you can certainly build one. You can modify this house any way you want uh, with some restrictions, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now, as you can see on the outside of the house, there is this really cool exterior wall, which is new to the game. And there is a new roof as well for this snow chalet. Obviously, you can see all these brand new windows. These are unlocked as part of this snow problem quest. You'll see from our walkthrough video of that quest that there are a number of prizes that are snow chalet themed, which are unlocked during the quest at different points. So if you don't manage to finish the whole quest in the 13 days, you can still win a lot of snow chalet themed prizes if you get far enough in the quest. Okay, let's check out the inside, which we've already shown a little bit of from the quest. This is, as we said, the front door. It opens onto this foyer here where you get a staircase up. So we'll check out the second floor in a little bit. But you have a really beautiful black dresser here with decorative books there and a new painting. I mean, basically almost everything in this house is new. Even the light fixture is new. Walking through this open doorway, also new, you get a really big open dining, uh, living, and kitchen area. And what I love about this, and we'll show this to you now, is that this living area is double height. It is actually two floors high, and there's a balcony that overlooks the living room. Now, this is exclusive to the Snow Chalet. They have not changed the game to allow this in any other building. And you'll see a little bit later when I start knocking the building down that you can't actually do much modification of this. This is basically gonna be stuck in this one room. You'll see when I demonstrate in a little bit, but first I just wanted to do this tour. So in the living area, you have this massive couch around this really <laughs> kind of blinged out coffee table. New paintings, again, you can see these new floor to ceiling windows and another one of these doors here, this new sculpture. The house comes with a Christmas tree, which I think is a really nice touch. And you get this gorgeous modern fireplace in front of this shaggy rug. The fireplace is double height as well. And you have this chandelier hanging from that double height ceiling. Over here, you've got a new set of dining table and chairs. Oh, this is so gorgeous, really beautiful. Another painting, another one of these like new windows, but in a sort of cool, modern, skinny style. And then over here you have the kitchen area and everything here is just gorgeous. I mean, this sink here with the 
space underneath is very modern lines this range here and then wall ovens i mean these are really trendy and cool i really like those and just look at this subway tile that's behind the counters here that's really cool and then this black refrigerator with water dispenser water and ice dispenser i mean it's very luxurious this whole snow chalet so then through here a new type of door you have a bathroom and this is really modern and cool look at the wallpaper and the floor just gorgeous so you got this vanity here, long and sleek, with a bowl-style sink and a mirror above. Look at that lamp hanging there. A towel rack. <laughs> Here's the toilet. And then check this shower out. This is like a really cool, just a standalone shower with a glass door there for, you know, the water splashing. But I mean, just really beautiful and modern looking. Awesome. So let's see, that is the main part of the downstairs. If you go upstairs, as you can see, the staircase lets out onto this hallway, and that hallway, you know, turns into that overhanging mezzanine balcony thing over the living room. There are two bedrooms upstairs, so let's check out this one first. You have the king-size bed here. It's three squares wide, which is awesome. And the bedroom comes with some of these white closets, which should be familiar for people who completed the limited time custom closets event and let's see the bedroom has a tv on the wall very nice and then through this pair of doors is another bathroom and this time you get a double vanity here with two sinks on two mirrors as well and here's another one of those showers and a robe rack oh that's so luxurious look how fluffy they are that's gorgeous okay the Next bedroom on this floor is over here, and this is more of a guest bedroom, I would say, because it doesn't have an attached bathroom. But again, you have a king-size bed. These bedside tables and lamps are new as well. You got some of these custom closets and another TV. Paintings on the walls are also new. Really, really cool. So let's check out what it looks like from the build mode so you can see the actual squares that the house takes up. Anything that's inside these white lines you can build so you can definitely add to the house and modify it. But like I said, you have to be careful with the whole double height room of the living room. So as you can see, the walls of the double height living room are here. They include this overhanging balcony. So you can't actually extend the balcony like I'm tapping on the balcony now and it instead is making me select the entire room. So if you were going to like, say, move the room this way, you lose that balcony and it automatically becomes a second story room. Does that make sense, guys? So, for instance, I can move the room this way, and that automatically changes the whole room into a second floor room instead of keeping that double height. So any modifications you make to this room, you'll have to be pretty careful. Now, one thing to note about expanding the house is that it actually seems to cost LPs to expand rather than simoleons. So you can see I'm moving the room walls to make the room down below bigger and I'm going to show what happens when I do that upstairs as well, just deleting some of these rooms to see how big I can get the bottom room to go versus the top room. It looks like it takes LPs to expand the room on top, although if you build a new one it only costs simoleons, so that is helpful at least, but I think it's because this room down below, the double height room, is a special room and that's why they want to charge LPs for any kind of expansion. So having expanded on the top and the bottom floors, you can see the top floor expanding creates more of this special balcony railing over here but there is only this limited space in the middle, which is double height. I think this is a 10 by 12 space right here, so that's all you get after expanding the upstairs and downstairs. So basically, it's just an exclusive kind of room for this one particular house template, and it looks like you're just gonna have to be very careful about how you modify and change it. I'm sure, however, creative builders in the game will think of some really interesting and cool ways to 
play around with this house. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what some of you guys will get up to. Now, like I said, there is no basement, but you definitely have the option to build a basement if you want and take advantage of that underlying foundation to the house. Now, let's just check out some of the actual furniture and things like that. You know, what can you move around? What can you do? So it looks like, for instance, this fireplace, uh, because it's double height, has some really limited areas that it can go. You can see the room is sort of blocked off with all of this red in the squares, and that's just to indicate that the fireplace is basically not going anywhere other than into those spaces. So let me see, I'm going to move this painting out of the way and see if I can move the fireplace over there. I'm thinking, yes, you can. That's awesome. So you can move the fireplace just in a very limited place because, again, as we can see, it's a double height fireplace, but it's nice that there is that option. And another feature of this double height room is that you can have these stacked windows. The windows on each floor are individual to that floor, so you can move them around, which is good. Those lights can definitely be moved away from the double height room into a single height room, but as you can see, they hang really low. So it could make some interesting sculpture out of that, maybe. Now let's check out the couch. It's massive, as you can see. The game developers have told us that this is the biggest U-shaped couch they have ever put in the game. And as you can see, it's like, what, eight squares by five squares. It's really huge. The coffee table is an isolated piece of furniture, which you can move. Basically, I think everything in this house is something that you can move around, put in your inventory, do whatever you want with. But I just tapping on things randomly so you can see what sizes they are and how they fit together. Like that oven, for instance, is one, but that sink was three. And this is a single piece right here. Let's see the countertops like that. Those are single pieces. Let's check out the vanity in the bathroom. That again is a single piece and it comes with the mirror. So that's all a single piece. Although I think that this right here on the sink is by itself. It's just a decorative piece that is only one square wide. Towel rack as well, you can move around. So it's really cool. All of these new items are just, you know, gorgeous and awesome and probably could work in lots of different builds, not just the snow chalet. Just going upstairs and seeing what we can get here. I think that this bathroom vanity over here is a little bigger, right? Yep, this one is four squares and it's got two mirrors attached to it. And the robe rack here, also movable. Very cool. And everything in the bedrooms obviously are movable as well. Let me just go through the home store so that you can see the new items. These are the doors. Single, double, these are the rugs. These are new dressers in three colors, black, white, and blonde wood, they call it. You have a new type of carpet, chalet wood carpet, which is looks like it costs LPs. It looks pretty similar to a pre-existing floor in the game, so I'm not sure that the LPs are worth it for this one, but uh, nice of them to try and give us something new there. The new king-size beds come in different colors. You, in the house, you've got the blue and the pale pink, but there's also a white option. Costs SPs. I'm just gonna pop that down. You have three types of bedside tables. Chrome, rose gold, and black. The ones upstairs are black, two over here, and rose gold, two over here. These are the new pendant hanging lamps, and the big sofas come in several colors. They are black and brown, which is already existing here, and chalet gray. Here's that stove. So it looks like a lot of these, the first one is free, and then after that they'll cost either SPs or LPs, it looks like. So it's a pretty good deal that the snow chalet costs simoleons because once you build it, you get all this furniture inside that actually cost SPs, social points. So these are the counters. Here are the chairs. You get those in three colors as well, black, gray, and white. And these new dining tables you get in three colors also, blonde, black, and white. Very cool. Here's another one of those rugs. And here is new flooring, as you can see. 
You can change up the flooring color. First instance is free. Just quickly going into the living room section where you can see coffee tables. These are the nested coffee tables as you can see here. Into the decorations tab where you can see some of the stuff that is available just scattered throughout the house like this fruit bowl and this thing that we saw on the bathroom sink and this was I think on the coffee table. I just like seeing these new little decorations. You've got these sculptures as well. It looks like those new paintings on the wall are not available for purchase in the decorations tab so they're going to be exclusive to the snow chalet. So like with the furniture that costs social points, if you want to use these elsewhere in your town, in another building perhaps, it's probably a good deal to build the snow chalet for simoleons and then take whatever furniture you want and put it in your inventory like that. The walls, however, you do unlock those as part of the snow problem quest. So you got different types of walls here. Let's try and... So you got a chalet blonde. and. <laughs> Uh, chalet wood. They look pretty similar, right guys? Like they're not too dark compared to each other. But you also have this chalet gray, which is pretty classy. Hmm? Again, the first one is free and then after that they'll cost LPs. And here are the new windows. You get the narrow version in black and wood as well. Let's check that out very quickly. Hmm. That's really nice. That's really modern looking and beautiful. First one is free and then it'll cost social points. You have a number of different shapes and sizes. Looks like you can get that in white as well. And then you just have a lot of these different shapes and sizes. Again, the first one will be free and then it looks like they'll cost social points afterwards. Here are some of the triangular shapes. It looks like this staircase is exclusive to the snow chalet. It's not available in the home store. Here are some of those exterior doors. You get these in blonde, black, and white. I'm not sure that I spotted this particular front door in the doors section. As you can see, it's four squares wide. Let's check out the doors section very quickly and see whether it's there. It looks like it is not, so again, it's another item that's exclusive to the house. So yeah, a lot of stuff is made available in the home store to build with elsewhere in town, but a lot of stuff is only available in this house. But I think that is the case with a lot of the pre-built house templates. You're not going to get necessarily every single thing added to the home store. It's just a way of keeping these houses kind of special. So let's go and check out the snow chalet on a standard size lot. So again, it's naturally snowing on the lot. In order to get the snow to stop, you need to buy the weather machine in the electronics section, which gets unlocked from the alien concept quest. So this is what it looks like on a standard lot. You don't have that back patio area, and you don't have as much space in the front here with the balcony overlooking the snowy slope. But still, it's the same size house, it's just that you don't have extra space to expand or build on the rest of this platform. But again, I think this is a gorgeous house. I love having these new styles of furniture and decorations, very modern and luxurious. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tour of The Sims Free Play Snow Chalet. Like we said, check the video description below for links to other videos from this 2017 year-end holiday update. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching.